I took the bus here from uh, Montreal. I'm not ashamed of that either. I just took it because I hate driving. Uh, just, I think it's because I'm from Montreal and the driving's just stupid there. Um, it is. Just I, I think the speed limit signs in that town are meant to be read sarcastically. <laughs> yeah. Should just say, yeah, right, under the number. <laughs> School zone 30, yeah, right. <laughs> Because I, I just go at the limit anyway. Even I, I did have to drive through uh, through Toronto once on the 401, and I even there I stuck to the speed limit. Felt like I was driving a fucking Zamboni. <laughs> and the cars drilling past me. You know, no one was doing the limit. Just, the cops don't even go that slow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any cops, but I know they were zipping around. Because when I got off the highway, there was a parking ticket on my windshield. <laughs> How they get you, you know? It's, I hate it too, because you see signs that uh, they're just useless, really. Like a lot of these, like more than once, I've just seen this, just you know, doing along the highway, and you see this sign just says "Arrive Alive." That's the advice. Just, who needs this reminder? You know, who is this person? Who's tooling down the highway sees that sign? Oh, arrive alive! Okay! <laughs> Buckle up, kids. Change of plans. <laughs> Lucky I saw that sign! Point of that. Why do you just say, apparently they'll green light any billboard as long as it rhymes. <laughs> Try not to skid, kid. <laughs> Stay out of the ditch, bitch. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I hate uh, hate driving on the highway also because the warnings that you get, like the little pictograms, like uh, are you familiar with the falling rocks? <laughs> Warning. Just, yeah, it's a picture of the mountain collapsing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I guess it's nice to have the warning, but how are you supposed to react? <laughs> <laughs> well, I better put my wipers on there. <laughs> yeah. Take that, boulders. Yeah. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> favorite warnings are the, the, like the animal crossings, you know, just, uh, just, I hate the little pictures of the animal, I hate being reminded every 10 minutes or so that an animal can come out and just fucking kill you. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Not, it's a, it's a, that, cause, cause I remember in driver's ed learning that if an animal does cross in front of you and you don't have time to stop, that you should steer towards it. And, uh, yeah, that's because in theory the animal will bolt forward and get out of the way. That's, that's in theory. I'm here to tell you, this does not work at school crossings. No, don't try that. That's, look, those kids are fucking slow. That was another bad Friday. Of all the animals, I, I, I don't mind the uh, the deer crossings so much because at least the picture of the deer and the little yellow sign, the deer's always doing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his, his legs are in the air, you know. It's like he's booting it, right? He's, he's trying to avoid a collision. That's reassuring. Okay? It's, it's not like the moose crossing. You know, it's the picture of the moose and that yellow sign. That guy's just taking his time. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's just like. <laughs> Bring it on, motherfucker. <laughs> you want to test your airbags? I don't give a fuck. Really. What's that, a smart car? My dick's bigger than that. <laughs> Some moves for you, that just, uh, in this there. Smart cars get a bad rap because of their little size and stuff. It all ties into the, the, the vehicle penis ratio that people are obsessed with. Notice how a lot of people say that uh, the more large like, uh, a man's vehicle is, the smaller the penis he's compensating for. 
And uh, you notice that comparison only ever seems to go one way. You know, no one ever cares what a large penis is compensating for. <laughs> A woman here will unzip a large penis. I'm like, Pfft. looks like I'm taking the bus home tonight. <laughs> Which I took from Montreal. I mentioned that, right? <laughs> But this sign I saw was uh, just it was in a residential neighborhood, and it just said uh, on it, uh, just said, caution, deaf child. Um, which I thought was kind of a weird sign, because you would think it would be enough just to say, like, caution, children, watch for children. But instead they single out this one troublemaker. <laughs> it's kind of mean, really. Just, really just having the word deaf, it just seems so unnecessary, really. It's like, not like you take away the word death and people will be driving like, hey, is that a kid in the road? <laughs> Maybe I should slow down. But, no, I think I'll just honk. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck, there should have been a sign. <laughs> Also, if it is just one person causing the problem, why not just save the money on the signs? Just educate the child. You know? <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, just find the one kid. Just sift the kid down, look him in the eye, be like, okay. I'm telling you for the last time, Jack. <laughs> when you see the paved road, Chasing the butterfly <laughs> and look around for cars. You know, cars, those big rolling hunks of metal. <laughs> that keep sneaking up on you. Why are you surprised? away from the moose. <laughs> Some of that wasn't really smiling, but trying. <laughs> 